So I want to do a quick video on uh, some of my new body washes at the Well and Spindle. I used to sell body washes, but I sold them in uh, glass little uh, glass uh, bottles. But um, it made the shipping really, really expensive because the glass was so thick. And um, also, I was kind of afraid of selling them because or having people use them, like if, um, they dropped them in the shower or in the bath or whatnot, because they could get slippery when they're wet. And how heavy they are, I didn't want them crashing. Even though the bottle was really thick and I've never had a problem with them shattering or anything, I was still kind of like paranoid that something was going to happen. So uh, it's been a long time since I made body washes, and I recently made some more. Yay! I like to do small batches of things. So I only made about four of each of the body washes I have now. And uh, the first one I have here is Spirits of Seduction. It is a spiritual body wash for lust and seduction, and it's made of predominantly uh, cinnamon and French lavender, or French lavender, French vanilla. So uh, if you have really sensitive skin, I wouldn't recommend using it because the cinnamon can be a little irritating. Um, I tried it and it worked fine on me, but and I would still recommend that uh, you do like a test patch or something with that one, especially. Uh, then I have the fiery wall of protection, uh, obviously for protection. <laughs> and this one is dragon's blood, frankincense, and myrrh mostly. And that is a uh, hoodoo recipe that I got. I'm looking for another one. <laughs> I should have had these out. Uh, Frey's Bounty is a um, blend I've been using a long time, and a lot of these blends that I have, I've had to change my bit so that I can make them body washes because I didn't have the oils for some of the herbs that I use, some of the herbs that um, I have used before in the actual oil itself. Um, are really expensive when I come to an essential oil or any oil. Uh, Frey's Bounty is for love, beauty, and power, and that is Dragon's Blood and Rose. And <laughs> Van Van, another hoodoo recipe. This is uh, five Asian grasses. It's good for door opening, road opening, luck protection, and new prospects. This is like my all-around good uh, blend. It's made with lemongrass, ginger rosa, or pomerosa, ginger grass, or lemongrass, ginger, <laughs> ginger grass, pomerosa, citronella, and patchouli. Mm. Smells really good too. Then we have Ask an Embla, which is for balancing energies, increasing sexual energy, and just for sex all around. <laughs> uh, that's mostly orange and patchouli. I think those are all the ones that I made this time. Yep, it is. So that's going to be the end of this video. I, it was funny because I, I listed them last night, and I know people have been waiting for my body washes again, but I listed them, and then this morning I woke up. I think I listed them at like midnight or like 1 in the morning, and then I woke up at a little before 10, and 3 had already sold, so I relisted them. And I'm like, it's pretty cool, yay, people actually like my body washes, and they're all natural and everything, made of tons of different oils and whatnot. But another thing to be careful of is that they're made of hemp oil, and, or hemp seed oil, so I would really be careful if you have an allergy something like that. I listed most of the oils used in case people do have allergies since it's going on your skin compared to my uh, uh, like anointing and ritual oils. I don't always list the ingredients on there because it's so diluted for most of those herbs and whatnot that only using like a fingerful shouldn't really harm you but you should still do a patch test anyway. But uh, yeah that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching.